Hey guys, it's Water VPL Gadget TV, and as you can see at my back, I am actually at Asus's notebook launch event whereby they are launching a couple of AMD powered notebooks today. And they are actually pretty nice notebooks, and I expect them to be priced below 4,000 ringgit or probably below the price of 5,000 ringgit. And as the launch hasn't started, Asus has already shown a couple of AMD powered notebooks behind me. There's the door over there. So I'm gonna check out a couple of notebooks and tell you my thoughts about it. They're actually pretty cool. So this is a quick video about it. So this is the very first notebook that I'm pretty excited about. This is the ROG Zephyrus G. It's already available on the Intel model, but this more particular model here is powered by an AMD Ryzen 7 3750H chipset, the highest end chipset that you can find on AMD's notebook lineup. And right inside, it has a GTX 1660 Ti. It has a very nice 120 hertz, 15.6 inch display. And if you switch to battery mode, it will basically switch over to the Radeon Vega graphics that is built right inside the chip. This is the advantage of getting an AMD uh, gaming laptop because if you run on battery, you can still run on a pretty powerful graphics processor and you can still game pretty well with that built-in graphics. So overall, this notebook looks pretty simple. There's no fancy RGB lighting. This is what you're seeing already. It's a white uh, backlit keyboard and turning over to the, the front, you do see this very nice um, brush metal finishing like you see on the Zephyrus devices. The very same design language and that's the RG branding you have. It's, um, RGB, this, this is RGB by the way that you can configure with Asus' software. So let's turn it back on. And in terms of the aesthetics, you can see that this notebook is a pretty slick device that you definitely wouldn't feel ashamed if you carry this out for work and you can actually game you game anytime anywhere that you want and now this is the Zenbook Flip 14 a very nice 14 inch 2 in 1 notebook that you can flip over to the side to become a tablet so of course based on the looks you know it is not powered by the highest end Ryzen processor this is in fact powered by a Ryzen 5 3500U processor with Radeon Vega 8 graphics. So let's take a quick look around the laptop itself. So you can see that there's this really small Asus branding here. It's, you know, pretty low profile, but I, I like that the branding is this small over there. There is a webcam despite its slim bezels. So it's a pretty good thing that Asus has managed to include the webcam on top. And this is the keyboard. The keyboard basically has no backlighting. So I expect this to be a very affordable model, probably below the price of 3000 ringgit. And in terms of IOS, it, it's pretty generous as well. So you do see an HDMI port, a, U, a USB Type A, USB C, and turning over to the side, there is a there's another USB port, a headphone jack, and a micro SD card reader. And it's better than some other notebooks that don't no longer offer a card reader these days. So you can see that the hinges are actually pretty well built. I like the fact that it is using this chrome type of hinge here. It's not a cheap plastic type of hinges. Well, you definitely need your hinges to be strong if you want to do a two-in-one notebook. This is it. This is the how the front looks like. Looks pretty simple, straightforward and elegant with that chrome hinge over there. Um, cooling vent is at the back. Look at it. It's pretty cool. So when you're gaming or doing some productive work on it, you definitely won't scalp your hands because the cooling vents are actually right on the back here. And these are the entry-level VivoBook laptops. So as you know, the VivoBooks are always made with great value and good performance. So this is the VivoBook 14. As you already know from the name, it is a 14-inch notebook with a very slim bezel, which Asus calls it the Nano H display. So it has a full HD display here, but in my eyes, it, this is not the best full HD panel that you'll find on 14-inch notebooks. The build is plasticky, so obviously we are going to expect this notebook to be priced very affordable, probably around the price of 2,400 ringgit to 3,000 ringgit. That's the range that I'm expecting it to be priced. Um, keyboard is good, that's backlighting, and it is powered by a Ryzen 5 3500U CPU with a Radeon Vega graphics inside as well. So it also has this Ergo leaf hinge, which, is, which we have gotten we're very familiar with ourselves. Basically, when you lift up the notebook, it raises the height of the laptop for a more ergonomic uh, computing experience. And that's pretty good that Asus has made that as a standard for its VivoBook series. And what you are seeing over here is the slightly higher end model VivoBook. This is called the VivoBook Ultra A412, which is a pretty weird name. They added a 
an A412 and decide probably to, to tell you that this is an AMD powered notebook. So it's a pretty light notebook, it's um, 1.5 kilograms and it is powered by a Ryzen 5 3500U CPU with Radeon Vega 8 graphics. And look at this, the build quality. This is definitely uh, less plasticky. It's, it is still plastic, but it is a nicer plastic than that one that we have seen. So there's keyboard backlighting as well. In terms of ports, you are getting very much the same configuration, USB-A, micro SD card slot. And on the side here, you do get full size, full size HDMI, a USB-A, USB-C, and a headphone jack. So if you close the laptop, this is how, how it looks like. Very nice go finishing. And there's this little detail over here that helps you lift up the screen in this way. So you still have to hold it with two hands in order to get it all up. So yes, these are the entry level Viva books by ASUS powered by AMD processors and I'm actually liking this one, you know, I, I actually prefer this a lot than that one and I'm expecting these two devices to be priced below 3000 ringgit or so because they are Ryzen 5 powered notebooks and they should be pretty affordable and still deliver great performance as compared to their Intel counterparts. So that's pretty much about the AMD powered ASUS notebooks that we are seeing here today at ASUS Malaysia's launch. So, um, I'm not sure how it really performs in real life, but based on my first impressions on all of these notebooks, they all do very well. Um, I hope to receive one of these for review someday. So let me know in the comments down below on what you want to know. But for me, basically I would like to find out how great is it to game on these devices and find out about their battery life. Are they actually better than Intel notebooks and so on? You tell me in the comments down below. So. Thanks for watching this video, that's pretty much about it. Stay tuned for more over at KL Gadget TV. Subscribe to us, give us a thumbs up if you like what you saw, and I'll see you in the next round.